All right, look, I've got a little piece of gold aluminum there. It's just about the right size. Oh my gosh, it's a little big. Darn it. Hmm. Boy, I really want to put that in right now today. Right where I step. Then I'll leave the overlap. On that side. Because when I put the floor up, I'll put it right to it. Or I'll snap a line and I'll cut it with my circular saw. Let's let's put that in though. <laughs> All right, so I didn't get the gate done. Let's see if I can get this little piece of tin in here. This will be the door we're coming through most often. This door will be closed most often. I'll put a piece of metal there. metal down first. That much is obvious. I think I can pull those up with the pliers now. This only purpose is to shed water a little bit. If I did that, it'd be easier to cut. Just split the difference, maybe. I don't know.
Now this is a pretty big Sunday for me. I got chickens, I bought those today. I got this little thing done, which I wanted to do. And now as people come and go on there, it's going to last for a long time. And then when that piece of metal wears out in 20 years, somebody could put in a new piece. For a thousand year home, all they have to do that is that 50 times. <laughs> all right, well. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? So, you know, I'm not going for cottage core vibe, but I'm going for colloquial, uh, you know, Adobe Pueblo look. I think that nails it. You know, the, uh, the anodized plate I found at McCoy's for $24. The weather strip, the aluminum, that's a carpet runner is what this is. I don't know, it wasn't much of anything. I'm gonna guess 12 bucks. I'm not sure where I bought it. So the two together are fairly complimentary. You can, uh, there's still an option here for a person to rip an inch or two off of that uh, do doors. There's plenty of room for that. And put down a oak runner. And I've seen those anywhere between, uh, oh, 65 and even up to 500 bucks for the adjustable ones with all the fancy doodads and gizmos in it. But, uh. For $38, I have something, you know, that will make the cedar last for forever. And once the anodize wears off and it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, do its job anymore, just put another plate on. <laughs> I'm sure people will be able to find it. This just a kick plate, right, for a door. Sometimes they're expensive, but they are cheap at McCoy. So I like it. I'm not going to do this side. The only time this door will get opened is, like, to move a bed in or furniture uh, maybe I'll open it up if I end up putting a screen porch or something. Uh, again, the screens, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Uh, indeed, if I just open that one transom and leaves it, I end up with, you know, three or four flies in here at the end of the day. That's the downfall of having cattle and horses. And right there's a stable. Well, what I need to do then is finish caulking the outside. I like that. I suppose I could get another piece and cut it there if I wanted. I'd probably cut it in the middle. I, I don't know. I, I, anyway, that's good enough where I come from. <clears throat> Again, this is a uh, colloquial home uh, built in the Spanish Mission vibe. It'll have adobe around it, uh, earth bag. So, you know, it can have a little, little quirk. Not so much that people go, oh, that's odd. But it can have a little quirk. And certainly a... Uh, Door jam protector is uh, definitely a good thing. Well, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. I want to thank you for following along while I did odd jobs. I wanted to do eight, and I got four done. Three done. One half done. The gate, the uh, gate that blows open.